hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and hit that notification button to always get my updates uh, in this tutorial we'll talk about trapezoid rule how we can um, implement trapezoid rule in python all right so uh, trapezoid rule considers a given number of points n and then also considers even spaced values of x uh, running from xi up to xn and then uh, evenly spaced by a distance h all right so if you consider an integral region uh, from a to b uh, that means uh, if we consider n points we'll have n minus 1 intervals of length h and h given by b minus a over n minus 1 all right and our x coordinates are going to be generated by uh, a plus i minus 1 uh, of h where i equals 1 minus n we can implement this as well in the rope if you are writing uh, the algorithm for trapezoid so uh, as we all know that uh, trapeze trapezium has a general formula of a half of h fi plus uh, uh, f i plus 1 where uh, these are the two sides the longer one and the shorter one and then the height and then over 2 all right so if we look at the figures below uh, this is what trapezium considers all right it considers this region a up to b and then subdivided by uh, into equal number uh, into uh, trapeziums of uh, that are evenly spaced all right and then now we need to sum all this up and then we get the area as you can see it's considering a linear or a line that somehow uh, underestimates or overestimates that interval all right and that causes the uncertainty so let's try to see what is the algorithm so from the other general formula if we try to sum up all of them or this trapezium uh, we can have this formula uh, that comes up as a half of f of 1 plus h of f2 and so on up to h over 2 of fn so look at this as the first term and this one as the last term all right and this is the second uh, last term all right so when we do that we can try to look at what are the weights uh, in the trapezium as you can see uh, the first weights the second and so on the last one uh, the middle terms here are just h all right which is the height which we, we can get using this formula all the length uh, as you may call it and then the first one and the last one are the only ones that are multiplied uh, by the uh, half term all right so what you are going to do is to try testing this trapezoid rule uh, just using a simple function uh, so we will uh, integrate uh, a simple a simple function uh, of f of uh, x which is equal to x all right so what you're going to do is to first of all know what are our limits so let's try by creating a function uh, which I'm going to call function that inputs x all right and then this is going to return uh, x all right so that is our function f fx all right this is the function that in uh, that returns the actual function to be integrated which is x now when we are done with that then we need to uh, define uh, what our trapezium uh, or trapezoidal rule is going to be so i'm going to say define uh, trap uh, that is going to input uh, a b and n all right a is the first lim lower limit a b is the upper limit and n is the given number of turns, t terms or points that can be uh, uh, that can be even or odd all right so now let's continue and uh, as you may have seen that these terms are uh, the first one is multiplied by a half and the last one is multiplied by a half so these are special terms that are a constant that are not going to be changing in other ones it's the lower limit and they depend and this one depends on the upper limit so let's take this as our two constants which we can generate and uh, in that one I'm going to begin summing up these two the first one and the last one and I call that one sum uh, which is equal to I'm going to call my function uh, the function that returns f a so that means f of a I'm substituting uh, where there's x I'm sub substituting a so this is going to be f of a 
and then plus a uh, uh, function of of b all right so that means i'm now getting rid of these two the first and the last one all right so then next we need to know what is our h so basically our h i can put it on top here our h as we said is given by uh, b minus the lower limit then everything over uh, n minus one all right our n is capital so that defines our h the height or the length of those uh, each of this trapezium and then now we can go further to sum up all what we have in the middle here uh, using the rope all right so i'm going to say for i uh, in range uh, we can look at n1 up to n minus 1 1 up to n minus 1 the reason for n minus 1 is that already the last term of fn is catered for uh, right here it's not going to be included within this rope at the moment all right so i'm stopping at n minus 1 if i take you back closely uh when we start from i equals 1 in the formula if we start from i equals 1 in the formula this gives us just a all right which is the first term so that means uh we'll be considering this first term that is based on the lower limit which is already catered for here so to avoid that uh, i'm going to slightly change uh this the iteration uh for the for the x values uh such that we have a plus i of h since we are just summing up now from this first term up to this one all right so that means i'm going to have uh that uh, our sum uh, which is plus plus equals uh, it's going to be function of uh, the a uh, plus i times h the reason to do this is that uh, because I'm summing up all whatever is in the middle here uh, my my xi is equal to a plus i uh, times h F for example when i equals 1 this is going to be equal to a plus h all right which is the next term here have already the first term out and the last term out and that means we are left with n minus 1 according to the formula and so if we renumber this again beginning from uh, one, this being equal to 1 that means um uh, i'm going we this is going to be reducing by 2 all right so that means it will be in other words fn minus 2 so to get this n minus 2 since we are now only considering what is in the middle uh, that means in our range we need to have n minus 1 all right so that means the range uh, will stop at n minus 2 and we will achieve this all right so i think this is uh, kind of easy to understand since now we are renaming from f1 all right so this is already out and this is already out and so now this is like our f of 1 uh, this is our f of 2 and so on so that means we reduce this by 1 and so this ends to f of uh, n minus 2 which we can achieve by uh, having n minus 1 all right so i think that is now clear uh, such that when n equals minus 2 n minus 2 we have our last term so when we do have that uh, then we can go down right here and then now uh, make a return uh, but before we do that let's not forget that the first sum uh, of these two constant terms the first and the upper have sum a half which we need to cater for uh, right here 0 0.5 uh, times all right and then a half a half all right so now when we return we need to return uh, a sum uh, return sum that is multiplied by h because everything is multiplied by by h all right so now that means uh, we the this function is going to be returning the sum of all of this one um, but again multiplied by h all right so that looks good so now when let's try to get uh, the actual 
uh, the actual uh, we define the actual int integral all right and uh, this is going to be uh, returning return uh, x squared uh, over 2 which is the analytic uh, integral so integral returns x of that so if we have uh, equals exact anal or analytic or exact integral is going to be equal to actual uh, actual int then of of b uh, minus actual int of a all right yeah so that is actual the actual integral now let's try to print and see what the uh, trapezium or trapezoidal rule will give us trap of um, a which is uh, 0 b which is 1 and then I can consider n to be a hundred all right and then also you can print out uh, the exact all right so I can say here uh, that the the numeric numeric solution equals and right here I can say uh, the exact solution equals all right so if I try to run this oh oh sorry sorry uh, I missed a, a power two here. All right. So if I try and run this, it will give me uh, this one. All right. So I had missed uh, a power here. Now let's make uh, n to be maybe one thousand to see. Uh, if I increase n, you can see that the numeric goes to zero point four nine 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 and so on, and the exact is zero point five. So there's some kind of uncertainty. Uh, we are experiencing here when you increase that so basically that is um, the trapezoid rule uh, in brief and you can use this uh, to as uh, to integrate any function uh, if you try to define first of all your function to be uh, if it is for example sine x then this is going to be just sine x or tan x and so on all right so uh, if it is any other function you only have to change uh, the original function here and the rest uh, remains the same uh, thanks guys for watching kindly subscribe and hit that notification button for all uh, for all uh, vid uh, for all python tutorials of uh, how to learn python how to learn computational physics how to solve uh, computational physics problems using python and so on all right